Okay, we'll start our walk around right here. This is my little my little logo. I love that. That's a that's an old Navy uh, mascot from 1944. It's really cool. This airplane has got so much uh, horsepower. It does need an extension on the rudder. There's just not enough rudder for that big engine. So the P factor's uh, pretty uh, massive when you go full throttle. I am using a, a tab for elevator trim, very effective. Uh, I don't particularly like the spring. Uh, Tailwheel is direct steering. And I've got the upgrade six inch uh, wheel, which is just incredible. Uh, it steers straight. Uh, it's a really quality unit. And I'm glad I spent the extra money on that because that's a really, really nice uh, tail wheel. At the top of the rudder, anti-collusion strobe. It's a forward facing. Guess what, if you're gonna get hit, you're probably gonna get hit from the front. So let them know you're coming. Beautiful, bright strobe. Paint job is kind of cool with the black and white yellow contrasting not you got a non-skid uh, walkway right here this skin is doubled you can actually see the laminate right here this is a doubled uh, skin uh, really durable ELT switch right here this is a little uh, canopy guide uh, it does have a five-point harness nicely upholstered and is a very comfortable seat Walking around, does have uh, the wingtip strobes and uh, nav lights. Landing lights are embedded in the flaps. You can probably see that. So when the flaps retract, the landing lights retract. It's kind of a slick way to do that. And there's your disconnect handle. Right here is your uh, tie down point uh, direct to the main spar, probably the best way to do that. A lot of guys drill a hole in the in the uh, wing disconnect handle. Not a very smart way to do that. Pedo tube, pedo pickup tube on leading edge. Wingtip vortice, uh, vortex generators make the flaps effective and lower the stall speed by five miles an hour, which is significant and gets it down around. 49 to 50 miles an hour. This is a uh, NACA vent intake for cockpit cooling. Uh, that's directly off the uh, Vans aircraft website. A really nice uh, way to bring cool, cool air into the cockpit. This is a side outlet on the uh, carbon fiber cowl. It helps cool that engine. It needs lots of cooling, especially for the oil because it's oil cooled. Uh, up front, a Prince prop, carbon fiber spinner. Uh, the cowling uses round holes with a silicone rubber seal, very effective. Makes it very easy to uncowl. And it's also one reason this thing runs uh, cylinder head temps that never get over 340 degrees. Uh, this is your oil cooling uh, inlet. It's big. 4x4 four four with an oversized cooler. The one that they sent with the engine was not big enough, so I had to increase the inside the size of the oil cooler by 50%. Up here, this knack vent right here cools the uh, the top of the engine. Uh, the gas lines and the injectors cannot be allowed to get hot if you'll get vapor lock, and that is not a good thing. So this keeps everything really cool at the very top. This is the only way I can get a good ram air into the injection system. Uh, the air comes in the front, goes through a K and N filter, and then does a 180 degree turn back into the throttle body and then the, into the engine. It runs a really good boost at high speeds. Got a really nice, easy access uh, to check the oil right here. You can see the oil dipstick is right there these hoses go to various spots uh, to keep everything cool uh, the ram air cools the uh, alternator uh, rectifier 
it cools the uh, the EUC or the electronic control unit for the UL engine and uh, <laughs> yeah there's a lot of heat build up in, in a cow you've got to get rid of that heat there's an outlet on this side and another knack event vortex generators this is the the Sonex uh, wheel pan it's a very effective uh, wheel pan uh, this airplane uh, we, we went from the 4x5 lawnmower tires to the 5x5 aircraft tires it's a bigger tire with the proper uh, fairing and these little snap out uh, access holes allow you to easily check your air pressure and air up the tires whenever you need to and pretty solid and they're completely fared on the attachment point that just cleans them up just a little bit more the uh, brake line is embedded into the rear edge of the spring you don't see it there's no brake line no visible brake line this intersection fairing is also a one of a kind created just to streamline that wing intercept intersection and then it's fully sealed with pro seal back there that's a permanent seal and it'll be there a long time this is your your wing locking mechanism right here when this is released it's bright uh, fluorescent orange or red you will not miss that so that wing has to be locked before you can take off this wing is is reinforced although it's not a walk surface it's reinforced just for extra strength and rigidity uh, just like the uh, the entry side or the left side That's it, folks. That's the 1X.